Hi artists. Hey, today we're going to learn about printmaking. We're going to learn different printmaking techniques, ways to print make, and we're going to try some different techniques. But first, we're all going to start by doing a relief print. We are going to use some foam plates and we're going to create a relief print, which means that we're going to carve or draw our idea to leave raised edges that then we'll put ink on and we'll end up printing. Okay, so Here's how we're going to get Back started. Back here in the printmaking center, you will see our explanation, relief foam plate printing with directions. So the first step is for us to make a design. It is very important to use lines and shapes that create interesting designs. Here are some examples here. This is a good design. It fills the shape. It has different textures and patterns, and it's interesting. This is a good start, but we need some more stuff going on in the background, some more designs, some more patterns. That right there, not a good idea. You will not even get your foam plate until I see a great idea. Once I see a great idea in your sketchbook, you'll come, you'll show it to me. I will see one, two, three, four different patterns, textures, it fills the space, and then I'll give you your foam plate. At which point you will put your drawing on top of the foam plate and you will redraw it, creating these grooved or relief lines, and then we'll print it. So I'm gonna show you how Artists, to do that. We're going to use our sketchbooks. You'll notice that the page of the sketchbook is the exact same size as our foam sheet, which is perfect because once you get your drawing done, we're gonna put the foam sheet underneath and retrace it. So you need to draw your ideas first. I am going to do a snowman. Don't copy me, I don't want you guys making snowmen. Come up with your own ideas. But this is a pretty easy way for me to show you. I want to have a good idea of my shapes and my design. And I want a horizon line back here for interest. And I'm going to do a mouth like this. I'm going to put a flower here. Fill your space. This is what's important with the foam plate. We want things to go to the edge of our paper so that our design is going to be interesting. Now just leaving the background plain is boring, so I'm gonna put some lines and patterns in here to create more interest. Think of different marks that are going to create interest. So even on the snow, I might just do some dot patterns like this, um, maybe some lines just again just to create interest because whatever i whatever line i push down on my foam that will be the color of paper that will show through so here's an example of a drawing that was done so the lines that are purple those are the lines that were pushed down on the foam plate all right once you have three ideas you're going to pick the idea you like the best you're going to show it to me you cannot get a foam plate until I have okayed your design. All right, once you have your design okayed and you have your plate, you're gonna put your foam plate right underneath the page of your drawing in your sketchbook, just like that. Tuck it, tuck it in, line it up, make sure it's all lined up. Hold it down with a hand you don't draw with. And now you're gonna retrace your lines gently enough that they are going to transfer from your paper through the foam. So you have to give a little bit of pressure, but not too much pressure because you don't want your foam plate to have holes in it. But enough that you're probably gonna poke your paper that the lines will probably break your paper on your sketchbook. You can even check. I can see my lines here, so I know I'm pushing hard enough. But I'm holding the foam so it doesn't move. I'm gonna put my drawing back. And then I can make extra texture by pushing my pencil, drawing, tracing all these lines. 
I also want to show you guys different ways you can use the back of the pencil and you can once you you can push to make different um, sized marks there are some other tools you can use too to make different marks in your foam plate okay so once you've retraced your lines you can see here that my drawing kind of fell apart but that's okay I didn't push too hard so I have my foam plate with all of my lines coming through now I can take other things like this fork and I could use the fork to draw some lines here to get extra texture I could even use the other side of the fork to create some thicker lines think about your lines thin and thick lines that's what's going to create interest is making some of your lines thicker some of your lines thinner, make some of your lines horizontal, some of them vertical. You guys want to have interesting line work. That's what makes printmaking so interesting. Even here for his buttons, I'm gonna make these buttons a little bit bigger. And then I wanna add some snowflakes back here. I'm just gonna do some swirls like that for snowflakes. So just a swirl mark I think will look interesting back here. All right. Now I think I'm ready to print. 